Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. Uh, in the last part we pretty much finished off, uh, oh what was the name, um, I can't remember the name of the world, fuck, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> fuck, I've forgotten, uh, Tarzan's World, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but we finished off Tarzan's World, um, uh, well the first visit to Tarzan's World, and now we're moving on. And I'm going to equip the Jungle King Keyblade. Uh, just basically a jump up in strength, magic, remain, MP remains the same. Um, yeah, and it looks pretty sweet. It looks pretty cool. Um, it just uh, causes more damage. That's pretty much what it does. That's usually what the Keyblades, the new Keyblades do. It's just uh, normally either it will boost your strength, it will boost, or it will boost your MP. Uh, normally. And depending on how you play, um, you can uh, either want, and it depends on how you play really. I hit things more often than not, so it's pretty much just a uh, easier way to do it. So, what we're doing now? What we're doing now? So at the end of the last uh, fight, we actually got a special gummy piece. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is because we've got uh, the latest Trinity Mark, which I think is the blue? Yeah, I believe it's the blue. Um, we got the blue Trinity Mark, which means we can... Yeah, you go, Sora. Kick their asses. There you go. Um, die, please. Anyway, uh, we go to behind the... Um, oh, for God's sake. Hit it. These are the electric uh, one of these things, they're the, the thunder variant. So here we are. What colour trinity is it? It's red, there you go, it's the red trinity mark, so... Um, you go behind the um, uh, hotel in the second district, and you can open up this, and you open up this area to take us to uh, Leon. Uh, and also... Uh, Aerith, and so talk to Leon, and he will be able to. Uh, and he basically tells you about the gummy and basically what it's capable of, what you need to do. Um, and it also gives you some story, I think, backstory about the game, uh, about the story. Uh, you know, it continues the story basically. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Tell us here that there's a. Sorry, hang on. <coughs> Still got a bit of a cold. But anyway, uh, so it's telling that this is a there is a keyhole in this world as well that we need to uh, find and need to lock. So yeah, we're here now, and we also are going to learn a uh, get a particular uh, gummy from uh, I think uh, Sid, uh, which is particularly useful. Yeah, here we go. So you talk to Leon a second time, and he'll tell you what the special gummy's for. Yeah, and he's going to tell you Earth Sid, and he's going to give us this. So we've got Earth Shine. Earth Shine is our. Uh, I guess this is pretty much a homage to uh, Final Fantasy. Um, it's basically our um, summon, summon, summoning. They're basically our summoning stones. It's the first summoning stone. Um, so yeah, so you go behind here. Oh no, you don't. You um, basically go into the accessory shop first because we need to talk to Sid. <laughs> so uh, is Sid in here? Tom, turn the camera. Don't know why I kept that in. Turn. There you go. Yeah, and he'll tell you. Hey, he'll tell you what. It's a gummy block. Thank you. I never could have worked that one out, Sid. <laughs> And you don't know anything about navigation gummies? But, hey! That's rude. Of course, pinheads. Uh, so yeah, this is a navigation gummy piece. Basically, this will take us to other... To basically, unlock the way to uh, newer worlds. So, that's pretty... Uh, so, it's just basically a way of opening the next area. You can go to new places. Yeah, see. There you go. Told you. <laughs> I'll install it for you. 
And so this basically also opens up an, an area that you can do now, which is basically uh, this opens up the uh, chance to basically um, improve your uh, gummy ship, so you can you know make a, a completely new one. You can use find a blue. You can find blue blueprints. Um, you can find blueprints and unlock that. Uh, you can find blueprints and basically create a, one from that, or you can just create one from scratch. Uh, and it basically allows you to go to... Just basically allows you to edit your gummy ship to make it better for going in certain combat situations. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. But um, <laughs> we also got the old book from Sid. Uh, which is basically an old book that uh, Merlin dropped, so we need now to head to... So that's the next thing we've got to do, is we've got to head to him and... Um, head to Merlin and tell him. But there's a red Tracy mark here, which allows you entry to the alleyway. Allows you to get this chest, which is more Dalmatians. Ugh. They're a pain in the ass. So now, yeah, this is what we're doing now. We're now heading over to um, yeah, the third district of Travis Town to talk to um, to talk to Merlin to uh, give him his book back. Um, so yeah, we got to give him his book back. Yeah, I'm doing some fighting. Oh, thank you, Donald. That thunder spell really helped. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, the Heartless are like slightly different Heartless from the last time we fought. Uh, last time we were in Travis Town, they've added these kind of um, flying dudes who are actually not that hard to beat, if I'm honest. Um, but there's also a lot more of the. Um, there's less of the standard shit shadows. Um, that was stupid of me. Oh, for God's sake. Tom, jump. I hate the platform in this game. Um, but yeah, uh... Ooh. Yeah, I had to wait there. There we go. There we go, there we go. Um, I don't... Th I think... Do I check? I'm pretty sure I do. Ooh. Camera. Yeah, I can't open that. Yeah, I need a yellow... Um, oh, unlock the yellow Trinity marks. But yeah, basically, there's a the Heartless this time around, are, there's a lot more of them, and there's a lot more of the stronger versions of the Heartless. But nothing too hard. <sighs> so anyway, this is the this is going to come into play a bit later on, um, but this is uh, another world that we can enter later on in the game. This... Sorry. <clears throat> This is 100 acre, uh, basically this is going to be 100 acre wood, which is a world full of mini games and you have to collect f five, yes, sorry, I'm trying to think, you have to collect I think five uh, torn pages which are strewn, strewn throughout the other worlds. Um, and once you've unlocked all of them you can uh, basically beat the uh, 100 acre wood levels. It is worth doing because there are some really cool items you can get, um, but it's not 100% uh, necessary to beat the game. You can completely ignore it if you want, because you need to get, because uh, one of them you have to, uh, the last one is a pain in the ass page to get is, last pain, is a bit of a pain in the ass because you have to find 51 of the 101 Dalmatians, oh, which is a pain. So yeah, here we go. This is the uh, new, this is our first summon, which is Simba. Um, basically you summon him and he uh, roars and I think he bas that basically reduces the enemy, it stuns the enemies and he also attacks them and it uh, causes a lot of damage. Um, I don't really use him all that much though, silence phone, um, <laughs> but that's the thing, I don't really use them all that much. There you are. What's going on? And it's Riku. The prick's back. Riku. <laughs> hey, hey, cut it out. 
I'm not dreaming this time. <laughs> Is it really right? you? All right, that's, 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 that sounds that sounds creepy. Sorry. <laughs> Stop dreaming about Riku. So yeah, now we've got. So now we finally found him, and you will see that he actually has a sword of his own. Uh, he has like this this weird darkness sword, which looks pretty badass. Badass, actually. I kind of like that design. Um. She might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Time for a shadow. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this. Everything to you. I'm the one with the badass key, motherfucker. Leave it to who? <laughs> All right, Sora. Uh, what did you? I've been looking. For I, you've, you. I've got the keyblade. Look at it. Isn't it awesome? Although I'm kind of sad. It's kind of weird because some um some of the cutscenes are have whatever keyblade you um equip last in those cutscenes, whereas other times it uses the um. The standard Keyblade design, the original Keyblade design, which is kind of bizarre. I don't know why they didn't just didn't do it for all the cutscenes. So this is called a Keyblade. But hey, uh, how did you get that? Hey, Fucking prick! Oh, Sora, you are a waste of space. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome oh, I hate the animation, the vo the facial animations in these kinds of cutscenes. They look so stiff and so vile. Oh come on, he's my friend. Just no facial expression whatsoever. <coughs> Sorry about that. Riku? Ah yeah, and while we were arguing, Riku's gone. Nice going. <sighs> Fuck. Oh well. Damn it! I almost had him. okay. And who knows? I don't know what Maybe is with what it is with these animations, too. but these happen a lot in Kingdom Hearts. Sort of putting his hand on the back of breast, putting the art, his hands on the back of his head. Um, it's kind of bizarre, but whatever. It's just one of his standard poses. So yeah, next we want to go to the small house, um, and you want to talk to um, uh, Sid, I think. Yeah, Sid. Wow, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Who is she? She's the main villain, man. <laughs> That's who she is. Don't take her lightly. Alright, Leon, fine. Yeah, apparently. So yeah, that's the uh, Kingdom of So the uh, Final Fantasy world was fucked because of Maleficent. That bitch. Gotta kick her ass now. <laughs> so yeah. At least at this point, she is uh, the final, you know, the the ultimate villain of this game. And this is pretty much telling you uh, that over the course of the world, you can find uh, the answer reports. Uh, the answer reports are basically eleven pages You're which of dialogue, of sorry, what am I talking about? The eleven uh, pieces, uh, pieces of. The 11 it's reports basically why am I finding this so hard to say they are basically 11 reports which kind of now he values give backstory him. about Ansem and what he was doing basically You're better off here Riku is being a complete and utter prick no I don't un he's really being I stupid here Instead of trusting my fr close friend of several years since we were young kids saw it I'm gonna choose to believe this witch who obviously looks evil in every single way it's uh, I find it so silly how he gets manipulated so easily by Maleficent oh yes this is the best thing you can get in the game this is the warp G basically if you've been to a world before you can warp to that world instantly it's so fucking useful and it makes uh, um, the game so, so much more bearable um, when traveling between worlds um so yeah you still have to do the um the gummy ship mini game when you want to go to a new world but for old worlds because of the warp gummy you now can just go back straight there and you don't have to bother with uh, the the mission the level every time i just wish that they did that a hell of a lot earlier like 
I think it should have been um, given to you after the first... Let's say after the second world, like after you've beaten Olympus Coliseum, I think that they should have given it to you then. Just to make it easier. Um, if you, you know, just to make it easier. But I guess it wouldn't have mattered too much. These fucking pricks. Die! Right, so the next thing that we need to do, and the final thing that we need to do, is you might have heard earlier on that there was a, um, uh, there was the, uh, the clock was chiming. What you need to do is you need to go into the gizmo shop and fight a bunch of Atlas. You don't need to fight them, but, you know, I'm doing it because experience points, man. I need to level up. Uh, the maximum level... From what I remember, the maximum level you need to get to in order to just beat the final boss. The final boss, I believe, at least this is on normal anyway, is level 50. So as long as you can get Sora up to level 50 before the end of the game, which shouldn't be that hard, um, it, you you'll find you'll be able to beat the boss, for, uh, the final boss, fairly easily. But anyway. In the next part, we're pretty much going to be going up to the clock tower and doing what we need to do there, and we'll be facing off against the boss of the second visit to Travis Town. So join me next time for the next part of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. See you next time.